What's happening, John Michael? Nathan, this is Chloe. She was in a car accident last January, and since then she's had severe neck pain. And she said it was just a constant pain. But she said tonight she felt the heat of God come on her body. You begin to speak about twisted bones tonight, but when you spoke that, a heat came on her neck. Jesus. And she says it completely. Now she can move her neck all around with move zero pain. She's had arthritis in both of her knees for 10 years. She could never bend her knees because of the pain, climb steps, do anything like that. Anytime she would have to climb steps, she would have to have assistance. Just constant pain in her knees. She said tonight she got hit by the power of God. She no longer has any more pain in her knees. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, hallelujah! Something's being released right now across the nations and in Dallas. I've never felt this before in the whole revival. But out of the wells of revival. When I count to three, you're going to begin to shout fire. One. Two. Three. Is, bl is being blind in his eyes. He's had over a hundred surgeries on the eyes from birth. And what's happening with the eye? He said, This eye here, he's starting to see light out of the eye. <laughs> <laughs>
2020 vision. What am I wearing? A gray tie. So what? I see color. I see the black in your eyes starting to come right now. Pray, pray, pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let the color of the eye, the iris, let it flood back to the eye. Keep those eyes open. Tell me what this is. What color is that tie? Say it again. Black and a little yellowish. All around the world right now. Tell them about this boy. He's had over a hundred surgeries. Yes. From birth, he had, his first surgery was two days old. What do you think's happening to your boy right now? I know it's pretty He's obvious. Being healed by the power of God. <laughs> the power of the Holy Spirit. And he's gonna be a testimony to people, to show people that Jesus is real, Jesus is alive, and he still heals today. Blind eyes Jesus. are opening in Dallas! Pick him up. Son, what, what are you feeling on you right now? Your hand. <laughs> That's what I love about children, they're real. I was being spiritual, saying, what do you feel on you right now? He said, your hand. <laughs> Son, can you see? You can see? Are you happy? Yes. <sighs> oh, I wish somebody would give Jesus a mighty shout of praise. <laughs> brought me this. This was the boy's cane. He used to use this to walk around with. He won't be needing that anymore. Come on. Oh, worship. We need to worship. We need to worship. We need to worship. Tonight, her body racked in pain. She's had arthritis in her knee. She's had trouble with the other knee. She's had surgery. Ever since that surgery, two years ago, her body's been in constant pain. She's, on, she's been on medication. Nothing helps. It only subsides a little bit, but the pain's still there. She said she came while we were praying for him, that little boy. Her... Her, her pastor, they just begin to go after her miracle. And she is in, she has been completely healed tonight. She has no pain, and she's walking all over this place. Come on, give Jesus somebody a shout. because he saw you he saw you in your nakedness and he became naked himself that he would bear our sin just ask Jesus to wash you to come into your life to change your life let those that need to be washed come right now
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Those of you at home, come on, 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 come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. This looks good already. Nathan, this is Carol from Texas. She felt pain in her feet around the second week in December. Slowly the pain worked its way up her body, and by January she was in pain in her lower back and leg. At times she went to bed with her shoes on because she was in so much pain, her husband had to help, help get her ready for bed. Her husband's done all the chores, all the cooking. This woman's been out of work. She's, she's everything. She's lost her job because of this condition. Eventually, she had a disc slip in February and felt her hip joint go out. Her body went in such shock from the pain, she felt that she had died and her husband called the paramedics. She stayed in the hospital for eight days with a severe sciatic nerve condition. The doctor said she would need therapy for two years before an eventual surgery. Every day she woke up crying from being in pain, taking up to 14 pills a day to bring relief. Tonight, she came in in pain on a walker, went down to the front and received prayer, and now the pain is completely gone. Come on, give a shout to Jesus, to Jesus. Show them, show them, move around, bend your body, do things you couldn't do before. Come on, bend those knees, move around, let's do it. Give Jesus a mighty shout! What's your husband gonna say? I'm gonna walk in with the walker, and then I'm gonna say, look baby, and then I'm gonna move it out of the way, and I'm gonna walk! <laughs> My sister, Take that to your husband and have an awesome, 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 awesome time celebrating in Jesus. I give you glory. Look at these, Dallas. Look at them. Look at them. How many of you were watching in Dallas last week when we were out there? Did y'all see that miracle of the eight-year-old boy that got healed? Well, I've got some good news for you. Where's, where's the dad, Joseph? Where's Joseph? Look at this. This is a sign and a wonder. That little boy, eight years old, was healed and he no longer needs this blind stick. Isn't that awesome? He used this his whole eight years. And he went back to the doctor today, and here's the good news. Somebody said, well, how did you know, how did he know what gray looked like? Well, he had sight up to three inches from his eye, one eye. He could see up to three inches from his eye. Today, he went back to the doctor, and he couldn't see anything out of the other eye. Went back to the doctor today, and he's seeing 20 feet away. 20 feet away. The doctor was blown away. 20 feet. And he also had glaucoma. There's the picture of us right there. That's, that's the little guy right there. His name is Ashton. And uh, he had glaucoma so bad that anytime he'd go outside, he had to wear goggles. He had to wear real thick goggles to go outside because it's so painful to him to go outside. Listen to this. He went back to the doctor today. He's seeing up to 20 feet now away, clearly, his other eye that he was totally blind in, now he's seeing all kind of movement in that eye. And he went outside and watched his brother play in a ball game and never put on his glasses. He's not, he don't have any glaucoma anymore. The doctor said his glaucoma is gone completely. I believe you can give the Lord a good praise for that. Come on. We serve a great God. Woo. Oh, come on. I want you to pray. 
praise him like he ought to be praised. Hallelujah. We serve a great God. Nobody like our king. You know what? I got a little grandson. Put that picture back up there, if you will. I got a little grandson that looks so much like him. My little grandson's 10 years old, and he has the same kind of personality as little Ashton does. And when I saw him laying on the floor Friday night, I couldn't help but weep, thinking, you know, if that was my grandson that was blind. You know, one of the things I've noticed about uh, revival and people coming to like Brownsville, I mean, to Church of His Presence, or when we go out, one of the things I've noticed is I already knew it, but um, it just has come home to me in so many ways, is that everybody has a story. Everybody has a story. And some people's stories are dramatic, and some people's stories are, you know, important, very important to them. But some people, if you had time to listen to their story, it's amazing that they're even in the house of God. And uh, you know what? The thing I love so much about the Holy Spirit is He loves each and every one of those stories. He really does. And the Lord loves you. And uh, as I was looking at that little boy laying on the floor, I thought, well, what if that's my little grandson? And all of a sudden, I just took a burden on him as if he was my own son, my own grandson. And uh, to get that good report today that he can now see up to 20 feet away, clearly. Even that night, he could see my tie. You know, that was further than three inches away. And he could see Nathan's tie. And then some woman came up, wanted to take a picture of us with her cell phone, and she's about 15 feet away. And he, he saw her coming with her cell phone. He said, she's got a phone. She wants us to smile. <laughs> he could see that he, that night God extended his sight. And they're also going to send me a picture because when he came forward, his little eyes were just whited over and so distorted. I mean, you couldn't even see a pupil in there. They were just so distorted. It was pitiful. And now, you look at his little eye, and his mama's sending a picture of the before and the, and the after. Now he's got a deep blue eye and a pupil in that eye. Is that awesome or what? Friend, the God we serve is able to do it if we'll just let him do what he wants to do. Hallelujah. I'm going to leave this right here for right now. Thank you for allowing us to come back.